All right, guys, we are coming at you from Bel Air Apartments. Jamie Margary, amazing dude, but not just that. Uh, want to get some perspective because he put his heart and soul into Amelia Earhart and the mural here, and uh, it's pretty damn special. So I think, like, honestly, like, you've just worked intensely in the Florida heat for two weeks. <laughs> what is your, uh, what's your biggest kind of, like, takeaway from the whole process of what happened here? Murals in the fall. Murals in the fall? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am uh, several shades darker, uh, <laughs> like, uh, scarily so. Yeah, you got a nice suntan, man. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to send him to the dermatologist as soon as we leave here. Um, you know, big question for you, because a lot of people have been reaching out and asking, and anybody that drives by here and calls, they say, how did he come up with this? How did he, did he sketch it? Like, wh what was the idea? How did he get the inspiration? Where did he find the image of Amelia? I know you and I talked about this a little bit, but I think just like, how did you how did you make this happen? The subject was probably the easiest thing. Uh, as soon as I heard you know, Airport Boulevard and aviation theme, uh, my brain just went immediately to Amelia. And it, I started thinking other ideas just to just to be safe, just to consider. But I knew I was like, no, I want to do the portrait of Amelia Earhart. Yeah. And then then it was a matter of looking up uh, up a lot of her history even though I've always you know, I've read up on her a lot over the years but just to make sure I had everything right and try to have the right plane uh, and then I looked up a lot of photos a lot of photos so the right plane go back to that because she had a very specific plane that she this used. is the plane that she used to travel around the world that's awesome um, <laughs> and then uh, then it was finding a, a, a photo of the plane that would work her that would work. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, her face and her body are two different pictures. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I know at one point you told me you scoured like 60 images of her yeah. to come up with the best. And then I did a, a big composition. I took the colors. Uh, I essentially made the digital piece as if the digital piece was the body. now I'm just like uh, but yeah then I had to make sure that the digital piece was on point so that once I was here all the decisions had been made everything was you know there's always moments where some some things had to be a little different yeah but once you're on location you're starting to see okay this is gonna work what are we gonna do but uh, but yeah in two weeks you know I think like the one thing that really is striking is how much you see this when you turn the corner. And this, we're right at the entrance to the airport boulevard and the Sanford International Airport. We've had some pilots stop by here. You've had a lot of people stop and ask questions while you're doing this. That was uh, probably my highlight of working here was uh, the woman that pulled up in the driveway. And she says, I, I pulled in just to look at it. Can I take a picture? And I'm like, of course, I'm way up on the lift. And she says, uh, Students are gonna love it, and that's when I noticed she got a. Uh, it seems to be like a, a flight instructor uh -huh. outfit. You know, she's got like a little logo here. She says students are gonna love it, especially the women. That's awesome. And and it was like thank you, you know. And, and but then after she left, I kept thinking about it, and that that did it. Yeah, that did. That's pretty uh, cool. Cause I'm thinking, like imagine driving home. Tired, whatever, whatever happened at the airport, and you see it. Uh, it might be a positive message, but that makes me happy. I think so. I, I would say overwhelmingly, the number of cars that drive by and honk and stop and you know, yeah, big old ant on your hat. Nice, perfect. I got another question for you. Come, come this way. So. I think some of the signature stuff, at least in things I've seen you do, you know, you, you tend to blend um, very realistic stuff with some abstract forms and, and different ideas. But the clouds on this mural are like so real, it's kind of amazing when you pull up on you feel like you're really in the clouds. Um, I, I really like... Uh, 
really like doing clouds, and I feel like over the years, uh, I'm gonna end up doing more and more of them. Yeah. Actually, uh, every morning on the way over, I would take pictures of the sunrise, uh, which I may end up using for future projects. tried to like sketch and do things when I was a kid I always sucked at this but the subtle details of like throwing the propeller in in, <laughs> in there and how you get that image to uh, you know really like it, you can sense it moving you know that was satisfying yeah finishing yeah. that part was satisfying it's, it's awesome man. so when she flew around the world like it was in this plane yeah. how long how long was that trip I can't even remember I know she made a stop in Sanford because when I looked her up last night she actually like went to the Greyhound track or something. I don't uh, I don't remember, but I know although she wasn't the first person to fly around the world, she was the first one, if I'm not mistaken, to fly. Uh, to have, she had the longest trip uh, because she had the fullest trip around the world. Okay. Uh, she, she basically flew roughly around the equator. Whoa. So it was as around as the world as. Yeah. In a way, she did the the realest right. trip around the world. Exactly. Becca helped out quite a bit. Uh, drove all the way out here with me, and for the first week, uh, she helped me set up. Basically, she worked the the underpainting, uh, which helped a lot because it meant that, for example, most of the red on this plane was was laid down by her. Yeah. Which meant that. All I had to do was do the, the painterly stuff, paint the edges, do the blending and all that, but there was already a coat for me to start on. Uh, everything that she could do. Uh, so I focused over on Amelia while I laid down tape and lines and then she filled it in and she basically saved me about a week before. Yeah. Bussy drove me up and down <laughs> while smelling me. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, how many total colors on the building? And Ryan, here, feel free to step in for a second if you want to say thank you. Yeah, good job, Jason. Jamie, I just want to say hey, thank you for letting me and your boys be a part of this as well. I mean, this is a great honor. I, I haven't had the privilege of doing something like this, but uh, yeah, I think we've got about 12 different colors on this all together. Yeah. Thank you. And that's not to conclude the, the spray paint accents that you, you went as well, so it could be, could be closer to 20. Thank you guys. Thank really you. appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Appreciate the opportunity to help. What do you think? Should we uh, cool down? Now we got to take this lift back. Then we're going to go check out the Langley in downtown Sanford, which uh, our friends at the Historic Society and everything else, we're going to be talking to you about hopefully doing a mural down there too. So more to come on that. But thank you guys very much. And Jamie, keep it going, dude. Rock on. All right.